having a little ride and keeping it real today out on the rifty just a short loop we've got a bit of a busy morning but trying to get out for an hour and mainly heading to do one of the climbs that I've been doing recently on the Alpine E this is ooh, a lot of fun ouch stingers brambles right here's where probably gets a bit more techy to see how it feels I think I know how it's gonna feel um, I haven't got a chest mount or helmet mount or nothing I think all you're gonna hear is me puffing and wheezing but um, I'm just on the little warm-up climb and I'm already puffing three weeks of riding the e-bike on the local trails and I think it's just a reset there rather than anything else because I tend to come up that particular bridle way at least the last couple of weeks at quite a high cadence and I was trying to do it today subconsciously I think so we'll see well I don't know if this will show up but I'm heading up to the monument up there and where is he there and there's a, a little short sharp climb up through those woods onto that little chalky path that gets me up there that's the bit I am expecting to dab the feet a few times I was going to try and get up here and not stop for filming Oh, but I need a little breather, to be honest. <sighs> these steps, probably can't see them all, but these steps, they take that little bit of effort and all the little techie bits down there, clearly taking more effort. Climbing te technique, it's definitely different. I can hop and lift the back wheel up a lot easier when the bike is 10 kilos lighter. So, oh wow. The thing is with the e-bike, you can kind of get that little breather when you're just climbing, if you know what I mean, rather than technically climbing, shifting and moving the bike weight around. There's no real rest on the uh, the manual bike. I've got to keep going. That was a minute stopping. So, I don't know how long the actual climb took. I'll try and put the Strava timing on the screen in a minute. But what I do know is looking at the overall timer on the e-bike, I'd normally, I'd be up the top, up to the monument, I'm pointing the right way, um, 10 minutes ago. So, oh, I noticed a couple of things. The bike is actually, it's a little more maneuverable in some ways, so I can lift the back wheel over the little steps and shift the weight around bit more easily but you don't get that obviously that extra torque and that punch from the motor when you want to get up the little steep bits that has to come 100% from here and here so that was uh, that was different and then the other thing that was really noticeable uh, well there's two things that were noticeable I think the front end I noticed wandering a bit now considering the travel on the Alpine is longer and I think and it's a little bit more raked out I'm not sure again I'll put numbers on the screen because the bike's so heavy and planted the front wheel doesn't wander so much when you're 
put those sort of power pedals in to get up over over the little obstacles so that was one and then the other one which i noticed quite a few times that caused probably two or three dabs was the pedals are longer on this bike i think i'm assuming these are 170 not pedals the cranks I'm assuming these are 170 and the um, alpine is 160 so it's i guess that extra 10 mil they might be 175 i'll have to check but um that caused a few pedal strikes that i didn't notice on the um the alpine trail pedal strikes could also come from being tired i don't know so we'll see so i've gathered my breath for two minutes have a drink of water and then we're going to get up the top that leaks That's certainly a bit easier. I stopped to chat to a dog walker. I stopped to film a couple of minutes here and there. But generally it's taken me twice as long to get up here, which is kind of exactly what I expected. Am I more tired now than if I'd got up here on the e-bike? Was the effort more? I don't know. We'll have a look at the heart rate and see if you know, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. If anybody knows anything about heart rate monitors and zones, then put some comments below because, you know, I guess if I'm spending the same amount of time in those zones, I don't, I don't know. Someone tell me below what I need to be doing, but I don't feel any more out of breath now than if I'd come up on the e-bike. So to me, it says that on the e-bike it's the same amount of effort but in half the amount of time now that that can't be right because the effort coming up that chalky path was definitely definitely harder i don't know but is that is that efficient effort i don't know this is back to the heart rate stuff again either way it's taken me we're 40 minutes now normally i'd be doing this loop that I'm going to do now I've done this in like 50 minutes I mean it doesn't take long to get back home from here whichever bike you're on really in fact it's possibly quicker on this one because you haven't got the motor drag when you get onto the road so yeah it's good fun to get on the risk zone. 